sure your skills and qualifications are evaluated. For most professionals who are coming into Canada and intend to work, you are going to require at least certification or licensing one way or the other. That is why researching is very important. At least you need to do the necessary research and know the kind of qualifications and certifications that you need so that at least before you pick up your bag to move to Canada, if there is a need to at least evaluate your skills and credentials to make sure that they are commensurate with what is in Canada or at least to know that they are recognized in Canada, you can do all those things so that when you land in Canada, you will already be certified and be ready to at least enter that particular industry. And if it just happens that your skills and qualifications are not recognized, you will know where the gaps are and you will understand how to close those gaps. Personally, when we move into Canada, I've had a lot of people who are now going through that certification process because they had an idea of what is required of them and some of them started the process even before we moved to Canada. And others got to Canada and saw where the gaps are. And now they are picking up those courses to at least be able to close the gap so that they can land that job that they've always wanted. So even though we are still in school studying for one particular course, they are still taking those certification courses because that is where they want to get to. And just to give you an example, I'm currently taking a management program. And in that program, we have people who are who are project managers back home. There are people who are HR managers back home. And there are people who are even medical doctors back home. And we are all sitting in that class. And it will surprise you to know that those who are who are HR back home and intend to enter the HR market, they are now taking the HR qualifications and certifications that at least Canada recognizes. Some of them have taken what they call the CPHR just to make sure that post-graduation, they will be recognized and be, at least be able to enter the HR job market. Those who plan on entering the project management field because back home they were just project managers are currently taking the PMP certification because they know that that one is what is recognized in Canada to be able to at least practice and work as a project manager. And even the one person who is a medical doctor in the class and plan on entering the medical field, that person is also going through the certification to make sure that post-graduation, he will be able to now enter the job market as a medical doctor and be recognized as such. So it is vital to ensure that at least you evaluate your skills and qualifications to make sure that at least they match what the Canadian job market is expecting. And you can always do this by at least reaching out to the regulatory bodies in those fields that at least you want to practice in. Sometimes by just sending them an email, they will tell you which areas and which courses that you need to take. I have a friend who wanted to at least understand how her qualification matches with the Canadian job market when it comes to HR. All she did was send an email to the regulatory body, explain her qualifications and the certifications that she held. And they came back and told her exactly the kind of courses or programs that she needs to take to be able to be recognized by that regulatory body. So sometimes by just reaching out to them, they will direct you in the right path. And for those who don't require licensing or even uh, certifications to be able to work in those fields that possibly they want to get into, one way that you can also evaluate your skills and at least your experience is to do what we call a self-assessment. And basically what this involves is you doing an assessment of your resume to understand which areas that you have strengths in and which areas that you have weakness and also areas where you require some form of improvement. With this, you can use online tools and resources to be able to at least conduct the self-assessment to be able to see areas where at least you have strength and weakness. And even you can use what the Canadian government has provided, a tool called the Skill Matcher Tool, where if you go onto the Canadian uh, government website, you can use that particular one to at least do this particular self-assessment and understand which areas that you require some amount of improvement even before you get to Canada. By evaluating your skills and qualifications before arriving in Canada, you will better position yourself to be successful when it comes to the job search because at least you would have done most of the work that you recruiters will be looking to do and now you can position yourself in their eyes to know that you might be the ideal candidate that they have always been looking for. Step number